our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Excuse me, Mr. Emery? Yes, Christine? Could you tell me where the copier is, please? Sure. You just walk down this hallway. The copy room is the second room on the right. Look, Mary, there are so many people over there. Oh, I remember. There is a job fair in the personnel market. I have never been to the personnel market. Really? I have been there several times. Are there many employers? Yes. The personnel market is a place specially for job hunters and employers. So there will be many large companies in the personnel market, right? Yes. There are many famous corporations. When will there be a job fair? Every Saturday and Sunday. Do I need to pay to go into the personnel market? No, it's free. How about going there to have a look now? Okay, let's go. Tony, could you tell me if there are any special rules about the job? Working hours are from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Be sure not to be late or absent. Report to the manager by filling in the monthly report every month. Is there anything else? How about my salary? Our company has a strict and reasonable salary standard. On the 20th day of every month, you can get your salary on time. Benefits depend upon the length of service and the employee's past attendance record. Wow! Thank you for telling me these. Do you mind telling me something else, like attendance record, holiday, and how to ask for leave? All new members are likely to ask the same questions. Haha, <laughs> I can understand that. Every month you have three days off, besides the weekends and some important holidays. After you've been here for a year, you qualify for a one-week vacation. The leave less than a half day should predict for an hour, and more than a half day should predict three days. Okay, that's good. I get it. Good afternoon, Mr. Tyler's office? I'm afraid you've got the wrong extension. I'm sorry, but could you please transfer this call to Mr. Tyler's office? Sure, please hold on. Thank you. Now Mr. Tyler's on the line. Go ahead, please. You are so kind, you help me a lot. You are welcome. Bye. Are you here for the position advertised in China Daily? Yes, I am. I'm very interested in that advertisement about hiring a computer program designer, and hope to know a little more about it. What kind of information would you like? Well, First I would like to know if this position is still available. Yes, it's still open. Terrific. Then how should I apply for? Oh, we need your resume, health report, three photographs and several letters of recommendation. Would you please send them to us by next Wednesday? Thank you very much. Bye bye. Hello, this is Stephen. May I speak to Mr. Xu? Yes, speaking. I need to make an appointment with you today. Okay, what time is it? 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'm afraid I'll be tied up at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Could you make it 5 o'clock this afternoon? Yes, that would be better. Fine. Goodbye. 
Goodbye. Good morning, Mr. Zhang. Good morning. How are you? How nice to see you again. How is everything going? Very well. What about you? Not bad, thanks. Our company has sent me to pick you up here. That is so nice of you. I'm afraid we can't increase salary this year. Money is just too tight. I'm not sure. I can't agree, Dan. Why not? Surely, there are other ways to save money. What are you talking about? We've tried everything. Where on earth are we going to borrow at 3%? We can borrow from a bank. The gross interest rate will be something like 7%. With corporate tax at say 30%. We are only paying on 50% of this. There is still inflation to consider. You can knock off another 2% for that. We can borrow as much as we can. Not quite. If we get too heavily in debt, the shares will tend to drop. How much loan capital can we safely raise then? I would like to have notice of that question. I will give you an answer in a week. Stephen, can you work overtime tonight? What's wrong? We have been working overtime recently. The holiday is coming so we need to finish our task. Must we finish our task before the holiday? Yes. The contract must be kept. Okay. I know. But Bob wanted to change shifts with me tonight. Did he say why? He said he would celebrate his girlfriend's birthday. Don't worry. I will tell him about that. It is convenient for me to work overtime tonight. Thank you for that. And I will double your pay. Mr. Lee, the report has been finished. So fast. Thank you. You're welcome. This is my duty. Anything else? Yes. You'd print out the address and telephone number of those guests from your computer, and then send those materials to each business worker. Okay, I'll do it right now. By the way, to tell them try to persuade those new guests to cooperate with us. Because I found a biggest opponent from this post trip. Yes, I get it. Okay, it's no anything. Do what you should do. Is Mr. Thomas there, please? Sorry. I can't hear you. Could you please speak up a little? I said, is Mr. Thomas there? Pardon? The line is bad. Don't hang up please. I'll have the call transferred to another line. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.